looking to get out of, out of this? I'm sorry. So, no, no, no. What are you looking to get out of this game for you individually? Um, just trying to get everybody started, you know. I know, obviously, this is our first time playing together as a team. Um, just trying to get everybody comfortable out there. You know, it's, it's summer league, so, you know, the basketball won't be as crisp as, as regular season. So, um, just trying to play together, have everyone, have everyone play hard. I think that'll that'll make it easier for us to, you know, flow into to our offense and, you know, to get some defense. And just make us, you know, if we're scoring in transition, everything everything just comes at that point. So, how about you individually? You got a lot of people looking at you. And, what you want to do? Um, I'm just going out there playing hard, trying to make the right play, same as same as always. Um, but like I said before, I know I have the ball more, so still making the right plays and then just trying to attack and put my team in a good situation. Did you, uh, you talk about uh, you talk about Mason uh, play tonight? If you don't mind, uh, five three corners all. From, uh, I mean that's yes. that's that's just who Mason is. I, it comes to no surprise, you know he's a. He's a wild boy, so some of the shots he was taking, I'm like, oh, I, I guess, you know, but no, nah, he's definitely a good player, so I mean, I've, I've seen him do it plenty of times, so it's no surprise. Did Doug ask for anything specifically from you being one of the veterans on this group tonight? What was that if you um, Well, I think from the jump, just to, to lead, obviously I, I'm the vet of the group, so just kind of go out there, put guys in the right spots, um, tell them what they should be doing, and you know, if we mess up on something, just correct them, and just be by example myself, so um, that's, that's pretty much it. It wasn't too long ago that you were in this position, similar position to a lot of your teammates for the first time. Uh -huh. What did you see from them and, and how did they perform and uh, the standards that they lived up to considering this is their first real opportunity? Um, you know, I, I think I seen something, I think uh, that Bronny said, you know, the first game is his butterfly, so I, I definitely felt that my, my first game, man, you know, this, this is going to happen, you know, it's another level, so um, guys are just getting used to it, you know, once, you know, we get a couple more games in our belt. You know, everybody will get settled in. You know, the offense will flow more smoothly, and everything will just come into its, its, its own. So, um, I, I think they're they're definitely headed the right way. Kim, what did you make of just the atmosphere there, especially when the girls and the floor? Oh, that's that's Sacramento basketball for it. I mean, I, it sounded like a, a regular game. So, um, yeah, it was crazy though. It was, it was definitely crazy. Did you have to prevent yourself from looking over there? Um. I mean, I, I was locked in on the game anyway. I mean, I, I seen them, the, the crowd was going, but we had like two minutes to be played anyway. So, um, it's, I mean, I've played, I, I don't think I played against them, but, you know, it, it's the NBA. I see guys every night. So, I mean, it's cool to see them, but I mean, you know, I had my own game. So, cool. What do you think about him being your teammate? Say that one time. What do you think about him being your teammate? Um, I mean, he's definitely an all star caliber player. I, I think, I definitely think he's, he's a great player. He, he could help us for sure. So, um, it make my job easier, so just go out there, play defense, and very shoot. So. Yeah, just how much different is it for you like, during the summer league than your regular season, like who you are? Um, I mean, I think now I'm I'm out there trying to tell guys, you know, to, to pick up full just because I think that's how I got on. Um, you know what I mean? And even if you get minutes with the Kings, that's what you're going to be asked to do anyway. So um, just trying to go out there and. and Put guys in situations that I know that'll help them. So um, by me coming out here, I'm just like I said, trying to lead. And I know if I have the ball, trying to attack and do my plays and, and make our team look good. Do you know what the plan is for you, or are you just gonna play in the California? Or do you think the plan is? I don't know, man. I'm just out here hooping. Man. Was that a was that a weird situation going up against the Chinese team? Where you don't have a whole lot of familiarity with those opponents. Oh uh, yeah, it was kind of crazy. Uh, I mean, I've never played against the national team myself, but. Uh, we watched film like right before the game, but I'm like, I'm not gonna remember the names, not gonna remember who's what. I chased over a couple of screens. I don't even know if he could shoot or whatever, but uh, yeah, it was, it was definitely just something different. And um, I mean, you know, obviously I'm used to guarding guys and probably the other team's main guys. So, but uh, I mean, it was definitely just good to be back out there. Though, so, what speaking of Nate, what did you make of the group and some of the players that on the Chinese national team that you got to play this? A couple big moments and a couple big shots from the team. Um, I mean, they. They definitely play uh, differently than, than in the NBA. You know, they took a lot of mid ranges, um, tried to get downhill a lot. So it was definitely something that I'm not used to. That's why we adjusted to, to just going under because you know they just kept trying to get downhill and shoot mid ranges. And so uh, definitely a different type of game, but it was it was cool. You mentioned the names. At one point, there were three Joneses on the same court, and there's two guys on the team with the last name Ellis. Is that a weird feeling for you? Honestly, I'm not paying attention to that at all. I'm, I'm just out there. Trying to play hard and think of next play. So, but it is it is kind of crazy. Just uh, all the similarity similarity in name. So, 
but I'm, I'm definitely doesn't. I don't pay attention to it too often. So. I know that you worked with Doug for years, but what was it like with him, him at the helm tonight and, and him calling the shots? Oh man, I love it. You know, Doug, he, he's one of the guys that, that all the players can can relate. Obviously, he's a he's a, a former player, so you know he he knows what's going on out there, and and it's just I don't know. It, it's, it's it's a good vibe out there because, like I said, he knows what what we were, what we're going through, and um, I mean he's just a, a, a likable person. I, I, I love playing for him for sure. Did the game feel a little slower, uh, given your experience playing in you know, the, the regular season last uh, year? Definitely for sure, because I, I, I knew everything that should have happened or was supposed to happen you know, on offense and defense. Um, knew what players were going to run and everything, knew where guys were supposed to be. So um, definitely had a, it, was, it was easy for me to walk out there and just you know, kind of tell guys where to go and make sure the offense is going to be smooth and you know, have my team Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Thank you. Just very grateful and honored to be able to showcase what I've been working on every day and what my teammates from SAC and the teammates on my team now and in the front office and the coaches have been seeing every day. It's me pushing myself to exhaustion and wanting to take that next level of my game to the next level. So just for me to showcase tonight and there's so much more that I still can show. So just to see that it's still working and it's showing that it's going to show off, and you know, it's good progress. You know, you were shooting uh, threes this morning when we were in there and stuff like that. Did you know you was going to have a type of night like this? You had five threes behind the um, territory. Yes, I did. Um, just, to, just to go back to the work that I've been putting in every day, as I said, I'm in the gym starting every morning at 5 a.m. and I'm at the gym at night at 8, 9 o'clock, and I'm just in the gym for workouts. I just read the gym. Um, I did a lot of hot yoga this summer, a lot of Pilates to take my game to the next level, and I knew what I know what to expect from my game, you know what I mean? This is just a opening and but like I got to always tell myself it's a day by day process and you can't grab, take everything and try to grab the world in one day you got to take it one day at a time and try to continue to beat every day one day at a time what, is, what main aspects of your game are you hoping to take an next jump in this year um just being able to be a great catch and shoot player um being able to pick up 94 feet which as y'all have seen today and just doing the things that I know the team needs and just me showing what my body is more capable of, knowing that how good a shape I am right now, I and mean, just me pushing myself every day. From a fan perspective, this is summer hoops, and people are excited to watch summer hoops, but can you shed a little bit of light on the perspective of the opportunity that this provides yourself, your teammates? These games can, can sometimes elevate a career, right? Um, like I told them before the game, um, never take this for granted. Like I said, I didn't been here. It's going on my third time now, and I know what opportunities to do for your career as I didn't take advantage of it. And I just tell them, just take advantage of everything because everybody's watching. There's other teams watching you from other teams. There's GMs watching other teams. And you never know who's watching. And all it takes is a couple minutes, three, four minutes, for somebody to be impressed to get, to get a role in the NBA. And tonight, I feel like the players on my team that came off the bench played great. I feel like the players that didn't play into the full court did great. And everybody's taking advantage of their opportunities. Basically, you leaned down. How much have you dropped? Is it your other year? You look like you're in great shape. Um, so I was 240 when I first came to Stockton, and now I'm 195. So just um, just leaning in and just sticking to the plan that the coaching staff, and not the coaching staff, yeah, the coaching staff, the strength and conditioning coach, uh, my trainers from Dallas, and just sticking to the plan. I knew that I wanted to take that next step, like I said. And I just started getting on the good guys, sweet greens, and just a lot of greens. I saw your mom in the stands. It's how cool it's to have a family. It's good to have my parents here, you know what I mean? Just, just to start off a good year and then for me to show them the hard work that I didn't took and all the time that they want for me, but I didn't put in the gym just for them, for me to show them all my hard work and dedication that just paying off. Like I said, it's only one day. And you know I mean, I can have bad days in the future and I can have bad days tomorrow, but I know that the work that I put in is setting me up for so much, so I just want to take that. Mason, what did you make of the atmosphere when DeRozan came out on the floor? Oh, it was amazing. I mean, just me playing against him my first year, my first ever start in the NBA was against DeMar. And, you know, I had a great game, and just now we look back at it, we got to be one of my teammates. And that's another first time I can learn from him. So just looking forward to that and just grasping his mind and just understanding what it takes to be one of the players. To see fans react that way, we can kind of get a sense of just how important he would mean to this team? Oh, a lot. We got some of the best fans, so I can't wait for that. Whatever happens in the future, like I said, I'm just, today, we found out we got DeMar, 
today we had a game. Today, Kings 2-1. Today, you know, it was a great day for the Kings. So, you know what I mean? Just, you want to enjoy it. Did Talk Doug ask you for anything specific that he wanted you to do or to see if you were, or does he just give you the green light to be yourself? Uh, no, he said I, I have to take that next step. And for that next step, and that's for picking up 94 feet. That's showing that I'm capable of doing whatever I need to do for the team. And that's what I want to do. I know that I have a lot of things in my game that I can continue to show. I know I can shoot. I know I have a very high cue. I know now I know I can play defense. Now I know I can pick up 94 feet. But like I said, it took me putting and working on my body pushing myself and just walking in on the journey and walking in the process. Mason, I have to ask, is the hair color going to change or are you going to keep that? Uh, I don't know. That's that's something in the future, but I'm definitely going to change it. And But I'm going with the black right now. Thank you. Thank you. Right Thank on, man. Thank you. Hey, hey, how you guys doing? Did you guys want to say hello to Albie and Connie? You know I did, I, but I said to him I can't say. <laughs> but I did get to say hello to him, no doubt. Um, Good always, to see him. always good to see Al. He's uh, he's one of my favorites. Really good person. No doubt. What still are you looking for um, in some of your key players here? Is it just constant evaluation and uh, challenging them to be good defenders and sharing the ball? What, what do you what do you tell these guys? I think more than anything, it's growth and growth in the areas that they're going to need for to play for the Sacramento Kings. So what are those things? Like, it's good to score, it's good to do these things, but what is going to get you on our main club and be a contributor? And all of them did that tonight. Keon still locked in on the defense. Mason was better on the defense. Then I challenged him to start getting his teammates involved. Uh, Kobe continues to be uh, on both ends of the ball solid, but there's growth in those areas, but they have to be consistent to make sure that it applies to our team, not just some of them. Yeah. How difficult is it to kind of try to implement some of those schemes and run similar things? And how helpful is it to have some of the guys that have done it? Well, first of all, like our coaching staff has been fantastic from, you know, just everybody across the board, even in San Francisco, like the training camp is only like, you know, like 72 hours, you know, but the ability to put all that stuff in for those guys to grasp the concepts. And what I, like I told them in there was, you know, guys, like to play that way in summer league just touches my heart from the standpoint that it's, it's not a selfish style of basketball. And most times in the summer league, it's like, I gotta get mine because I gotta show that I can. And that's what I'm trying to convince them. Like a lot of people are trying to see what you can do for their team, not the fact that you're gonna go and score 30 points. If you do, that's great. But those guys all contributed across the board for each other. And I think that that is the greater thing that I take away from that. I know there's not a lot of time to, to practice and, and anything like that with not just the Cali Classic but all of Summer League in Las Vegas. But what about tonight's effort that you see that makes you excited to get back to work with this round? Um, defense. Like the ability to pick up, the ability to shift the floor, the consistency at which they did it. Um, that's that's huge. I mean, the pickup point was on the other side of half court. The physicality was there. The shifts were there on the backside, so they couldn't advance the ball up the floor. Like that's what I want to see, and I'm, I'm pretty sure, like you know, that's what Coach wants to see as well. And I'm just a conduit to try to make that happen, but. Um, that's probably the biggest thing is defensively. Like offense, there was really some good plays. The ball was moving around, those type of things. Like offense, our offense has continuity because that's how it's formulated. But the ability to defensively continuously stay locked in is more for what I'm looking for. You've been out with Domas most of the summer. How impressed are you by some of these young guys with this Dion or Jones, you know, how they're coming back in a different shape? Yeah, I think that like, and you and I have had a lot of conversations, and like the first variable in our sport that I think you have to take out is conditioning, because like it is, conditioning is a value, and you need to take it out, because if you're getting tired, like you gotta come out of the game. Those guys are working as well, so, and you can see it. Like, Mason played so hard that he asked me to come out. Like, that's a compliment to him and what he's doing. Kobe is the same way, Keon's the same way, and our other guys are learning that that is what we expect here at Sacramento to play. You also started Isaac Jones tonight. What do you think about his play? Um, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of I. Uh, he, uh, like, his ability to protect the rim, his ability to run the floor at that size, he's a, he stretches the floor vertically, which is huge, so we can run him in pick and rolls, and he gets downhill. I was just 
convincing him and, and Charlie, like, shoot the ball, man. I'm not, I, it'll go in because we're going to work with you. But that's one thing that I want him to continue to work on. But, and, and it's just his presence, like, really good kid. Like, everything that I ask of him, he does it with no questions. Like, next level, next level. You know this fan base so well, and we've seen some pretty cool moments, so you know what the presence like. DeRozan, who you mean you're coming in? What, what would, did you make of that atmosphere? Were you too locked in to kind of give it a moment? I mean, I, I expect nothing less. This is what we do. So, like, I'm sure he walked in and was like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> but this is how, this is Sacramento. And this is, like, once people get here, they understand. They don't get it when they're not here. But once they get here, they get it. And we'll get there. Are you going to go with the same lineup tomorrow, same minutes breakdown, or do you switch it up? You scout I'm just asking. No, no. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not really sure. We're going we're gonna to look at the film. I, I mean, I would think so. Those guys played at a really high level. Joe, though, was fantastic off the bench. Like, his defensive presence, his length, his communication, like, everything. Um, but I, I'm not 100% sure, but I would probably say yes. You know how this game continues to grow internationally. What did you make of the Chinese national team and the opportunity to play them? Yeah, it, it's a it's an honor to more than anything. I, I seriously, I, I mean that for them to come over here and continue to spread the gospel of basketball, but at the same time, it helps them because they're playing against type of talent that they probably don't see on a you know on a day to day basis, and with a new coach and a new system, as they continue to figure out what they're doing, they're only going to improve. I think Al was telling me one one kid he was like he's 18. I was like that guy is 18. <laughs> you are lying. Uh, but if he's 18, like their future is bright. So yeah. yeah. Specifically with Keon, what's the biggest perhaps jump in his game that you've seen from last year to this year? You know, I would say like one thing, when he had really good games, he was aggressive and he shot the three. And tonight, like he, he caught it and he shot it and he knocked it down. Like trying to convince him like that's who you have to be, but I still need the defense on the other end. And uh, as a player who did that, I know that it, it's, it's tough because sometimes when you catch the ball, you're like, mm, I don't think so, not this time. But that, to, to Ham's point, that's the conditioning aspect that he's addressing, so he's still able to pick up. He's still able to be physical. He's still able to go out all out on defense, run the floor, get his feet set, knock down a shot, or come off the screen. And like if he continues to make that growth, his anticipation, uh, his, his spirit out on the court is fantastic. He doesn't play for himself. He plays for the team. And those are the type of players that, that I love personally. How about his leadership one, and the leadership of, of Mason Jones and uh, Colby to some extent? Like, what did you see out of them the opportunity to lead a group? You know, that's a, that's a thing that I asked of them individually, personally, away from the team. Like, when we're doing warm-ups, when we're doing th I need you guys at the front of the line because you have to set a tone. Don't take the I made it approach because that's not what we're about. This is an opportunity for you to grow so that you can make another step on the team, not like lay back. And they've all, like I think you've seen it, like the way that they approached the game, the way that they came out and set the tone, like for a coach, that's all I can ask for. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Coach Christie. Right.